Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to purify hydrochloric acid without the need of any chemistry glassware. All you need is a container with a lid that is large enough in order to contain another container. So the procedure is very simple. We are going to pour some distilled water in the small container. place it in the big container and now we are going to put some impure hydrochloric acid in the big container now what I'm using here is this muriatic acid that I got at Lowe's and it's impure because you see it says principal functioning agent hydrogen chloride 31.45% but the rest is spray adjuvant, so we have no clue what this is. So it's definitely not pure. Okay? So I'm going to pour some of this impure acid in the big container. And I'm going to put, the amount that I'm going to put should be at least 1.5 the amount of water, the amount of distilled water that I put in the... Um, in the small container okay so this is done and just place the lid make sure that it is hermetic and now all we have to do is to wait what is happening is the following Hydrochloric acid with a concentration greater than 20% is volatile. So this means that some HCl gas molecules are escaping from the liquid. Distilled water, on the other hand, likes to catch those HCl molecules. So it will do this until the water reaches a concentration of 20%, which is the isotropic concentration. Now the question is, how long should we wait? I don't know exactly. I did a test in the past. I waited for four hours and this was definitely enough to see that the water turned acidic. But it wasn't very acidic because it was unable to dissolve aluminum. So what I'm going to do today is that I will wait for three weeks. Okay, that's a little bit long. Why so long? Well, because I have to leave on a trip and I will be back in three weeks. But hopefully the process can take a shorter time. And for this, I will ask you to do the experiment. Wait a few days and tell me what you obtained. All right, I just came back from my trip. It has been about three weeks, so let us see what we got. All right, let us see. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if we can see on the camera, but there are some fumes coming out. It's perfectly normal. As I said earlier, hydrochloric acid is volatile. All right. So I'm going, in order to test what is the concentration of this acid, I'm going to measure one milliliter with this precision syringe. So let me make sure that I have one milliliter. Okay. And, oops, I should turn on my scale. All right, I don't know if we can see, so let me zoom in. Oops. All right, so I have my uh, one milliliter. Okay, I don't know if we can see the more. Yeah. So let us measure the mass. All right. And it's 1.09. 
and this is exactly what I expected because as you can see on this table 1.008 or 09 is the mass density of 20% hydrochloric acid so it is a success it worked exactly as I expected okay now we may want to check the acidity the, the pH so, let's see yep and well it's definitely acidic all right so it worked as an additional test let me put some more of the pure acid in here and see if it can dissolve this piece of aluminum foil let's wait a little bit hopefully it will work Hopefully it will, yes, I see some bubbles. It's gonna start Yeah It's working nice so I hope that you are convinced that this is an easy and effective method of purifying hydrochloric acid and we can really see it okay it has been totally dissolved and yes we can really see that the acid is purer you see how it is yellowish here and here in this container it is crystal clear so if you enjoyed this video please give it thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please share my video thanks for watching